Right, hello, welcome to the Cayman GT4, which is... Here again, can I just go and do it? We're getting serious, Mara needs to start first, and then... Oh, no, Mara, So you need to go and... Right, anyway, welcome to the Cayman GT4. Oh, happy setup over there. I'll be rolling now. You can hear lots of camera no, people... Ready, uh, rolling. ...saying they're ready. Uh, apologies for all the walkie-talkie nonsense. What we're here to do is a four-way sports car drag race. So, a drag race between a BMW M4, a Lexus RCF, a Cayman GT4, and the surprise package, possibly, a BMW i8. Uh, we've got a V8 rear-wheel drive, we've got a flat-six mid-engine rear-wheel drive, we've got turbocharged straight-six rear-wheel drive, and then we've got electric and petrol driving all four wheels. I'm the only manual car here. Is it going to win? I don't know. A couple of them have got launch control. This just, when you, this this will hold the revs, but as soon as you slip the clutch, it just spins up the back tyres. i is quick because it's four-wheel drive. M4 is hopeless because it's got DSG and, uh, <laughs> and no traction. Because the BMW has a nasty habit of, once it's lit up its rear tyres, it just tends to stay in the same spot. I like this car. You'd like this car. Uh, that's a Lexus RCF. I like the car, and Mara, who's driving it, likes that car. It doesn't have launch control, but... Mara is pretty skillful and it's got more traction than you'd think. And I'm in a Cayman GT4, which should have loads of traction, but it's a little bit slippery here. I think I'll need a little bit of clutch slip just to stop the rear wheel spinning up in these conditions. But we'll see. Either way, quite exciting. Standing quarter mile, four cars. Five, four, three, two, one. To do with a warmer, dry day. Oh, we're off. Yep, and I've been absolutely topped off the line there. Maro jumps the start by a mile. This has got the I8 at the end. That is a massive jump start. That mate, that mate, that mate. Come on. I mean, that was a jump by, what, three seconds? Oh, no way, that was pretty much bang on, wasn't it? Still amber, definitely an amber gambler. So let's try it again. How much was that by? Was I really? Uh, you were bang on. No, I didn't. You didn't jump here. No, tell, tell yeah, Matt it's that. the other. It's like the M4 yeah. was the slowest getting yeah, away. Tell Matt that. That M4 just gets no traction. I get all right traction. Actually, I did not jump here. The boys are saying I went bang on green. It's my fighter pilot reactions. That's extraordinary. That is extraordinary. Well, fair enough. I don't believe them. It's a clear jump. Oh, I could see it from here, unless the speed of light takes that long to get through the Cambridgeshire air. And replaying the footage now. <laughs> oh, video evidence. Based on the video evidence, it looked like Mara jumped the gun by only a few hundredths of a second. Maybe the rest of us were too slow, too nice, too slow. Well, let's try it again anyway. Should I do this one with the engine, not just electric this time? Yeah, you should have as much as you, as much oomph as you can get, mate. That was a joke. I see. I think we're gonna have another go. That is how you get away in a GC4. I did manage to get off the line reasonably clearly. Move it out to eight. Might catch the I8. Just catch the I8. One finish. Well, it's starting to gain as the electric motor loses its urge towards the end. Yeah, oh, I don't know. Maybe. And that's a pretty clear victory for the Porsche there, I think. You know, I didn't expect if I8. Expected to get away quickly, not necessarily to hold a lead over three genuine sports cars. Is it a sports car? Don't know didn't expect it to be quicker than all of this company. John, that's very impressive, the way that I8 gets away. It's all down to me, I'm doing a lot here. Oh yeah, I can I can see that your, uh, you know, your deft clutch work is, uh, is paying off. That GT4 looks the best. Well, it is the best. And you're the best. By heck, this car likes to bonfire its rear tyres. It's because of that really spiky power delivery, it's quite difficult to, uh, to modulate. It's all a bit on or off. And when it's on, basically the tyres are spinning. And once the tyres are spinning, 
you're going nowhere. These are my excuses, I've got loads of them. M4 just can't get its power down. I8 does spectacularly, GT4 gets it down okay, but ideally it would be a little bit warmer and drier for the GT4. Still, this is the best sports car. It doesn't matter what company you put it in, it's one of the best sports cars. So that's decided. The Porsche snatches a narrow victory over the i8, and we will be back again to take on piston heads in another video.